The GCCG stands for uh, Global Consensus for Clinical Guidelines and it is a disruptive innovation in terms of trying to provide more patients with better care. And this is done by a collaborative approach of partners globally, which we sit together to define guidelines on a single indication from the start of the treatment to the maintenance of the treatment and to provide these guidelines in a global approach. But the most relevant point is that we start from the perspective of a patient and we start from the perspective of a clinician who is doing daily work in his office. So that makes it uniquely different to common consensus meetings where we start from the scientific question. So what does the literature show and based on this we define our so-called PICO questions. So and that was the most striking approach. So asking patients, asking clinicians, asking stakeholders in surveys to get a solid basis to define valid and reasonable PICO questions for efficacy analysis and that makes it so unique. You know, I'm a, a practitioner in practice on a daily basis and I sit there with a patient, I'm trying to do patient-centered care but I'd really quite like to, to also make sure that I can say to the patients that I'm following what is the best possible approach to their treatment and that of course comes out of recommendations through guidelines. The first topic that's been chosen, and I think that is highly relevant, is the upper jaw where there are no teeth, so the edentulous maxilla. It seems to be one that the dental profession is really keen on and looking at. So we, I think we feel that that's where the guidelines are most needed in the first place. We don't have a regional consensus anymore. We have a global voice, unified voice, unified consensus that will help many of patients, not only in the European, but also in, the, in a third development country or in different parts of the world. So that's to me, it's important. It's a dream come true.